Imagine your country has been facing a terrorist incursion for over 30 years. Your Western and European allies have condemned the attackers, recognized the group as terrorists, and offered their support to you. Now a few years ago, a new, bigger, and even more widespread threat has surfaced. One who has attacked you and your strong allies. So, what does one of your best allies do? Arm and train your longtime enemy in order to fight the new bad guys, and then let them settle up right next to you. You see why Turkey's upset. That's what's happening right now on their southern border with Syria, where the YPG control 65% of the Turkey-Syria border. The US says that Turkey should concentrate on attacking Daesh, but Turkey sees the YPG buildup as a greater long-term threat. Here's some background. In order to fight Daesh, also known as ISIS, in Syria a few years ago, the US armed and trained a group of mostly Kurdish rebels going by YPG, who later changed their name to SDF. More on that in a second. The SDF moved into areas which Daesh had been controlling, and they decided to stay and hold up in cities like Afrin, Manbij, and others. Some areas previously controlled by Daesh are now swarming with SDF fighters. So, who is the SDF? Uh, they formally called themselves the YPG, who the Turks would say equated to the PKK. You're dealing with a terrorist enemy of mine. Uh, how, you know, how, how can you do that ally? So we literally played back to them, hey, you got to change your brand. You know, what, what, what do you want to call yourself besides the YPG? And with about a day's notice, they declared that they were the Syrian Democratic Forces. I thought it was a stroke of brilliance to put democracy in there somewhere. That's right. The SDF were told to rename themselves by the U.S. But why? Aren't they the military wing of the YP PYD? Uh, uh, they are, yes. Is that right, General Dunford? That is correct. The leftist Syrian Kurdish political party founded in 2003. Reports indicate that they are aligned or at least have substantial ties to the PKK. Is that true? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, uh, Is the PKK a terrorist organization in the eyes of the Turkish government? Uh, yeah, the PKK is a terrorist organization not only in the eyes of the Turkish government, but in the eyes of the U.S. government as well, uh, Senator. Turkey says this is why they launched an operation to clear the area of the SDF. So, how would you feel about your allies arming your enemies, then asking you not to fight against them?